Where's all the new drugs? Right here. What is it? What do you got that's new? What do you want? Something that I haven't done. I've been doing drugs since 85. The only new drug that's come out is crank. Thanks, thanks, America. <laughs> Crystal meth is the drug of our generation. Like the, ice, ice. Well, yeah, the prescription drug's a problem. There's no illicit narcotics. That are, you know, it's a multi-billion dollar business. You'd think you'd throw some new product out to keep us interested. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing to do. Yeah, scripts. That's the only new drugs they do are the ones to fucking... The, like the mood alterators or you know, the, the antidepressant, all the ones that keep you happy working in a cubicle. The, those are the dangerous drugs. The, the, those are the ones you, that take away your individuality and they medicate against things that shouldn't be medicated against. I alphabetize insurance forms 45 hours a week and I noticed I couldn't concentrate as well as I should. So now I'm on Adderall and I can just flip through the... Uh, Alphabetizing and saying, you shouldn't want to do that. No, no, your natural instincts say this is bad. Don't be in this building. Run. Yeah. You, you, you shouldn't take anger management because you uh, get road rage for sitting in traffic for an hour and a half each way to work in stuck fucking traffic. You should be very fucking angry. And that anger should motivate you to do something that doesn't require you sitting in fucking traffic. You, you, you're, you're medicating against the. There's illicit narcotics you can take that will make alphabetizing those forms seem like an empty life and make you stop. You have mushrooms, do those. The, the mushrooms that are illegal. They, that's why they are illegal, because it makes you think that... That's why cocaine is illegal. Because it makes pussy too easy to get. <laughs> and pussy is the big motivating factor. If you could just put out a line and fuck her, oh, that'd ruin the whole economic process. No, you're going to have to put in fucking 50 hours at a hump job so you can finally afford a booming sound system and a spoiler for your fucking low-riding Honda so hopefully you can impress some pussy to fuck you. That's the grift. I noticed that when I was a younger girl, I was very promiscuous. And I'm going to tell you right now, I slept around a lot. But now I'm in therapy and they have me on Wellbutrin. And my therapist tells me that the reason that I was sleeping around was because I have a low self-esteem. And my father, he didn't spend a lot of time with me when I was growing up. And maybe you just like the feeling of cock going in and out of you, just hammering cock. Maybe that felt good. Maybe there's no psychological reason. To, maybe the fucking cock pounding in and out of your slop hole is fucking... Maybe your clitoris is not an anomaly. That's not some weird male nipple with no purpose. Maybe it's there because it makes you want to take cock. <laughs> Take another fucking pill and look like another off-ramp in Kentucky. You fucking suck. It's a suck time to be alive. And you don't want to sound bitter, but if you're not, you're not thinking it through. Jesus, if I die early and I have good odds in a few death years. Because of my lifestyle. Don't ever say, it's sad he died young. Maybe I'm going to die right on fucking time because the future looks really goddamn boring. <laughs> and you ain't opening up no windows of opportunity to jump through. When people, artists die young, they always fucking, ooh, it's so sad he died young. He could have brought so much more to the table. Maybe we'll never get to hear what he would have Maybe they died right on fucking time. Maybe if they didn't die young, they would have just ended up bitter, drunk, angry men at a fucking Best Western yelling at people. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know they wouldn't have just ended up fucking caving in and sucking or going to bed early like Sonny Fox? <laughs> How do you know? How do you know Jimi Hendrix, if he had lived, maybe he'd be doing Super Bowl halftime duets with Elton John. Do you, do you know otherwise? That's a good possibility.
Most people end up sucking. Count on your fingers, the old people that are still relevant in the art form. How do you know Lenny Bruce wouldn't have ended up being taken over Andy Rooney's spot at the end of 60 minutes behind a cluttered desk bitching about ATM fees? Oh, too bad he died young. Maybe, 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 maybe Hedberg died two days before he was scheduled to be at the Baltimore Improv because he's been there before and he knows what it feels like to try to be an artist in an environment where they make you feel like you should be wearing a name tag and 30 pieces of flair. <laughs> maybe it was just in time. Could I please have one more beer? Jaker! <laughs> Am I depressing you? I wrote this set tonight because I, you know, I couldn't repeat shit from the old XM thing from last year, so I'm trying to dodge around bits I did before, and I started to read the fucking set list, and I'm like, well, this is really fucking depressing, but fuck it. It's what I got. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Is that his fifth cigarette in one set? He's an act. It's sad. He's gonna kill himself. Has he got another beer? <laughs> I heard him on XM and I think he had a tuba backing him up. <laughs> Jesus died for your sins, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing it just for your mere entertainment value. And that is far more important and admirable than dying for your sins. Because <laughs> what that fake Jesus didn't ever think through is your sins are the only interesting thing about you, dreary cocksuckers. <laughs> you boring fucks. All the things you keep secret are fantastic. And you could be telling those stories right now. And <laughs> Your sins are fucking... The sins are what make you good and real and human. God's sake, he died for him. I live for your sins, for fuck's sake. I can't wait to hear those stories. Your sins are all the shit. You call him up one morning. Dave, you can't tell anyone this. You promise? This is what happened. And you go, oh, it's all right. It's cool with me, man. I ain't going to say shit. Click, he calls you. Man, Dave told me not to say shit, but this is too good. <laughs> That's why you repeat those stories, because they're great. Wear those stories on your sleeve. You fucking die for your sin. You start a story right now about what a good Christian man you are and how you walk the walk and you talk the talk and you're filled with the love and blooming effervescent light of Jesus blowing out of every hole in your fucking awkward orb. And you start a story about that one time you kick-fucked a girl with cerebral palsy, and we'll see who draws a crowd. Ha! Even your fucking boring guy on a stick could leave your story for that. Yeah, I pray for you, too. Whatever. I gotta hear this. What? You kick-fucked a... What? <laughs> who was, was she into that? Was it against her will? And what kind of lubricant? You are a fucking star attraction at this table. <laughs> Sins make you good. You know what? I'm not a big fan of you guys either. <laughs> you guys are right. You can talk back to me if you want. There you go. It's a fucking. That's what. When I'm president, I'm wearing this fucking every day for four years. <laughs> Slippers in a bathrobe, because you know why? It's fucking comfortable. And I'm playing in the hotel. I get off work, I, I hit my floor, and I'm home. What the fuck am I gonna dress up for you for? What do you give a shit what I wear? I wanna be I'm comfy. I'm sick, man. <laughs> you a cop? No, that yeah, that guy. I know I got kind of retard eyes, you can't always tell, but you in the pink shirt. Are you a cop or something? Who talked into the mustache then? I just, I profile for cops in my show. A shit job. I got some presidential platforms, but I, I picked out an outfit is 
bathrobe and slippers and pajamas. But I didn't work on a platform, so maybe I have my priorities wrong. music in it it's fantastic music just just 30 seconds of silence in this fucking day and age makes people so horribly uncomfortable there's, there's, there's nothing happening there's, I need something flashing in my face I don't know what something's ter terribly wrong he hasn't talked in 30 seconds this is fucked I love it ah. 